Hi, this is Brenda, and uh, I've had some questions about all of the measuring cups and measuring spoons that we have, and they all have their own purpose, so I thought I would come on here and talk about them. So the first one I want to talk about <clears throat> is, well, so I'll talk about both of these sets. So this is our measuring cup set, and this is our easy measuring cup set. So the differences are, um, First of all, this one comes with just the three, the four, four cups, two cups, one cup. Um, so that's a set, but you can also purchase, uh, it's a four tablespoon. And so you can order, you can get this also. But these are more for your liquids, because if you can see that, you can see the measurements there. But one cup is way down here. So when you're measuring out liquids, this is great. You just sit this on the countertop and just look from the top and until you get to that marking. But with your sugars and your flowers and those kind of things, you really want something like this where, this one's the quarter cup, where it is up to the very top. Um, is the the quarter cup or whatever it is um, this set it includes I don't, the, I don't even know what you would call it but I usually I used to use a knife before this but when you have your flour in there you would just scrape it and make sure it's flat um, so that's what these are for so this one is really good for liquids and this one these are really good for your um, flours and sugars Um, one thing about the, these also, and I'm going to talk about it next, actually I'll just talk about it now. So these will sit flat, you can see. We have a set of nesting um, measuring spoons, and they also will sit flat like that. Now I don't have any sets of those, because as you've seen, I love the um, adjustable measuring spoons. So I, instead of a whole set of measuring spoons, I just use these two. Uh, this one goes from an eighth of a teaspoon all the way up to a tablespoon by just moving this bar. And this one will go from a teaspoon to a full tablespoon. So um, like I said, I don't have the matching measuring spoons for this set. Um, I just use these, seriously. <laughs> um, and then I just have to grab the two and I have everything I need. Um, so then we have prep bowls. This one's the one cup, this is the two cup, and we also have a three cup. I don't have that one yet, but they all come with a lid. And what I like about these, um, well, first of all, you have, so this is kind of a combination of the two. You have your measurements along the side here, but these ones you would have to get eye level with it um, to make sure you have the right amounts. And um, the top, through the top is your um full cups so this one's one cup to the very top and this is two cups to the very top now um i'm going to talk about a little bit about your stickies like your sh your um peanut butters and your um criscos so i per one of the recipes i use a lot we have a um, family harvest cookie recipe that calls for two cups of sharding i actually will use this i like this um because it's a full cup and then i can get my water really really hot and clean it out and then run it through the dishwasher but um that's about the only time i do not use these next ones for like a, a shortening or a peanut butter and what I'm talking about are our um, measure all cups. So we have three now. This one goes up to two cups. This is up to one cup. And this is a quarter cup or four tablespoons. I think it's a quarter cup. But anyway, four tablespoons. So we have two different sizes here. So I'll just grab the one cup. Um, you can see the red markings. And that's for any of your solids. Uh, mayonnaise. Crisco, um, peanut butters, and you just uh, measure it down to the side. So I have it down to um, a half a cup. So I put all that in there, and then when I um, want to put it into my bowl or whatever, I hit the plunger and everything comes out. There is nothing left on the sides here. It has um, 
pushed it all out. And um, so the other side is your liquids. You can see um, you have a pour spout here. So if you had a hat, if you wanted a half a cup of oil, you put that there and then you just pour it out. So um, these, I, it's so kind of a combination of everything. They, these ones will be for your solids and for liquids. This one's for liquids and full cup measurements of your solids. Um, this one is for measuring the different uh, sizes, quarter cup, but all those, um, for your sugars and flours and that kind of thing. And then this is for measuring out your liquids. So both of these are liquids, but if you have any questions, uh, that was a lot of information, um, but I just wanted to go through what um, you can use any of these for. Now I will say I will, I use this one for like if I need anything less than a tablespoon of oil or anything, um, because you do have your different, um, up to four tablespoons. So I really do like this for that. Everything is dishwasher safe except for this. Um, I will tell you though, I still put it in the dishwasher, uh, but the reason that it's not gonna be guaranteed, there is a uh, um, seal here around here that's pretty delicate and that's what helps get everything out. But like I said, I'm a rebel. Um, I still put that in the dishwasher, but everything else is dishwasher safe. So again, let me know if you have any questions and um, I will definitely answer any of your questions.